Navisa Security is a solution from MergeTool.com. Uh, there's currently more than uh, 50 customers running it worldwide in more than 10 countries. So what is it? Uh, it's a complete solution for NAV security. It uh, works both in the Rotate and Classic client, uh, and the full application is available uh, in both places. There's really two pieces of it. The one is uh, field-level actions and data security. It's something that can't be done in standard navigation uh, with permission, and it actually allows to control access to forms and pages, uh, access to individual fields on forms and pages. You can control the actions and buttons, and uh, you can also filter data both on form and pages, so you can limit what records and user can see. The other part of it is for roles and logins, and that's a piece that already is in the vision, but this one is a much improved application with a lot of tools that assist you in uh, creating new roles and setting up logins in an easier way. You can record permissions with the SQL profiler and uh, client monitor. It's possible to both groups roles and companies, so when you are assigning maybe 30, 50, 100 roles to a uh, person and you need to do it in 10 different companies, it gets quite complex. By doing groups, you probably end up with a few permissions under each user. You can even have permission as another user, so you don't have to maintain every user in the system. It also allows you to do restore points, so as you edit permission, you do it offline, and then when you get ready to per publish it to live, it will do a restore point of your current permissions, so if something goes wrong, you can always revert back uh, to the previous one. It also has a very simple way of dealing with object-level permissions. You basically only uh, specify the objects you uh, need to have extra permissions for, and EC Security maintain the rest of them, so the release code unit, for example, is a good example on that one, where you don't want people to have uh, access to release. There's really no other way than limiting the object for it, and that's all handled by uh, EC Security. The field level action and data security has uh, more advanced features for objects also, so you can actually make an object, a form or page, editable, uh, or you can complete hide it so a user actually can't even run uh, the object. For fields, you can make them uh, non-editable, again, uh, they grayed out so people can't type in them. You can also completely hide fields, uh, and it can be controlled for each individual object, so it can have different setup on the sales order than you have on the sales credit memo, for example. Actions and buttons can also be controlled. Actions are the menu items in the Rotor client. Buttons are in the Classic client. You can disable or hide them in the Rotor client. In the Classic client, you can only control the complete button, and again, you can disable or hide it. Data security is uh, an ability to filter data uh, so you can only see certain records, uh, you can also apply flow filters, so you only see within a date range. You can uh, both apply filters that are hidden, but you can also have filters that are editable, uh, that are more kind of like a helpful for the user. So maybe you by default want a filter for the current year, so they only see uh, orders from this year, instead of showing the whole list of orders when they go to posted invoices, for example. You can also have a different filter per form, so if you go to the customer list, you can maybe see the complete list. If you go to the card, you can only see the one that you are the salesperson for, maybe. If you want to implement uh, the filters on reports, data ports, and code units, and other places, it's actually a very small com uh, customization that you can do to implement it uh, also other places. The only way to do these kind of things is to up modify the object, uh, but as you install this one, it goes through an install and it will uh, add the code required. The code can also be removed again, so when you need to upgrade in the future or implement larger customizations or something, you can actually just remove uh, the functionality and when you're done, you'll put it back in again.
Roles and Login is an application that deals with uh, permissions that you normally work with inside NAV. So it will be the database logins, the Windows logins, the access control for both of those ones, and then the roles and permissions. It has a rotated and classic application, so you can actually work in the environment you used to. So even if you use a rotated client, you don't have to go back to a classic client to assign new permissions to a user or build a new role. Creating new roles is a very complex task because there's hundreds of permissions required many times. And with ISV products and other things, it can be extremely time consuming doing this manually. By recording either using the SQL profile or the client monitor, it's a very simple task. You basically use the application and it records all the permission required. With the SQL profiler, you can even record another user that actually works on their own workstation. You can also record web services or NAS or anything else with the SQL profiler. One of the normal problems about recording permission is it only gives you exactly what you record. So if you don't uh, go in and do a drill down to the currency code, you don't have that permission. But the source code analyzer ensures that you get all those permissions. So if you have a table relation, it will give you read permission for the table. It also will allow you to calculate flow fields. So it only gives you indirect permissions to it, but it will so you can't do the drill down, but you can still see the total. Even in the Rotel client, it gives you execute permission on fact boxes, so you don't end up having permission issues like that one. A lot of things can be done with table data permission. Uh, the recorder also record objects. And EC Security have a way to deal with object level security where you really only specify the objects you care about. So it could be the release code units, it could be the sales forms, the customer forms, and think that that one. Everything else is just uh, dealt with the same way as normal, but the object level security makes it possible to enable whole new features that you normally couldn't do with standard navigation permissions without getting into a very, very time-consuming maintenance task of uh, dealing with the objects. When you administer logins, it's really uh, one of those things where if you have multiple companies and you get a couple hundred roles that is typical, then it gets very time-consuming because you have so many roles multiplied with your number of companies to assign to each individual user. Easy security allows you to create groups of roles and groups of companies. So instead of assigning them individually, you maybe only have one or two permissions actually for a user. It even allows you to set up a user to be like another one. So you don't need to maintain all the five people out in the warehouse. You just maintain one and all the other ones are the same way. You can also set up expiry of logins and access control if somebody just needs to have access for a short time to do some additional setup, you can give it to them and you don't have to remember to go back a week later because Easy Security will remove the access uh, when the expiry date comes. One of the big problems about changing security in NAV is that you change the live data. If you make a mistake, you better figure out how to get it back again and Easy Security has a restore point, so every time you edit data, it all happens offline. When you get ready to push it to the live system, it will create a restore point, and then it will push the live system, uh, the data to the live system for security. So if a mistakes happen and people can't work, you can just go to the restore point and write it back again. Uh, it's also possible to actually compare permissions, so you can go in and see what changed from one version to another. Uh, or between the dates of your restore points. Easy security is available in uh, three, six, or later executables, and uh, it's independent of the application version. So you can use it with a two, six application if you're still running that. There's only new objects, so you really don't require a merge at all. And currently it's available in eight languages. Um, it's all the Western European uh, and um, North and South America languages available. Um, it can't be really this 
three different setups that could be useful for it. You can use only the login and restore portion and that's 800 hours. If you also want to be able to record the roles and the login and restore points, it's 2000 hours. Field level security can be purchased by itself uh, and it's 2400 hours. If you decide to get the complete solution, both for roles, logins, restore points and the field level security, you uh, have to pay $4,000 for that one. Merchstore.com offer fixed price installations and we also have support if you do if we do the installation and there's no other NAV modules required to actually um, buy the easy security solution. If you want more information there's a lot on it on uh, the Merchstore.com website if you want a demonstration version or have other question, feel free to send an email to info at merchstore.com and we will respond back. Um, and we can also do online demonstrations if you have more questions than normal.